Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So, so far this is working out as it should in the bullish scenario that we've been talking about in the previous video. I said to you that, you know, as long as Solana is holding 1932 and it hasn't broken, it actually has, has done the five wave downward move. Yeah? So five waves down, it made a lower low below the third wave, which is good for the potentially bullish scenario. Um, but it did not break and sustain 1932. So quite a clever move here. The bullish, so the short-term bullish count, we also talk about short-term bearish, but the short-term bullish count is here a wave one, A wave down, overshooting B wave, C wave down, and would now need to be complete. So you could say as long as, if anybody's looking for a bullish scenario here, as long as we're holding today's intraday low and do not break it, the focus could be on upside in a third wave, and that would be a five wave move like this. Don't necessarily believe this yet, but of course it can play out and a break above 21, okay, let's call it 2164, would emphasize and give some more confidence into this bullish count, okay? So this is obviously one of the coins where we said potentially, um, it's turning around already. Yeah, we were counting five waves up. We were counting three waves down into support and it could now push higher as long as 1932 doesn't break. A sustained break below 1932, as you know, would make me favor an another, you know, another low, basically. Um, still though, in an overall bullish scenario, next support levels would be 1778 and $15. We have a little bit of volume increase, nothing substantial yet. I have added the red box onto the chart to show you this is resistance because what I of course cannot rule out that this is something short term more bearish. And then this would likely be resistance between $20.77 and $21.64. If price can break above the 78.6 retracement level, so $21.64, which is the retracement of the move to the downside between the um, 4th of June high and today's low. That again, that would be more bullish. But if we see a reaction here, either at 2077, 2113 or 2164, it could head to the downside here. So we're just entering a small resistance area. Just need to see how price um, responds. And we have seen Bitcoin Ethereum rally quite a bit today. The altcoins are waking up slowly, but they haven't caught up really, and they have not really moved too much today, uh, most of them at least, while Bitcoin and Ethereum actually were moving first. So I think the altcoins were a bit hesitant first, but as Bitcoin and Ethereum get a bit exhausted, I think some money is flowing into these altcoins. So I just need to see now how relevant or how reliable this uptrend is now. Again, Solana, one of the coins that potentially could have bottomed, including Q&T Quant, and I think we had LDO possibly, but I think for most other coins, we we are looking still for another low. And also here, I mean, it's not confirmed yet, right? But it's, it's at least among all coins that we cover, Solana is one of the more promising ones to have bottomed already. Yeah, we're observing the market. I mean, they're all deep in support. So to be honest, most altcoins, it would be good if we finally get a bit of a rally. But Bitcoin Ethereum have just created a very unusual bottom structure. So anyway, I just wanted to um, update you here because Solana is one of the more interesting coins at the moment. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.